there's actually a man that if you leave your bins out on one day, he'll take them down to the bins for you. Wow. But I've never known what that day is. So I just take my bins out anyway. Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of Mundane in the Brain, uh, my new chat show interview series type thing. Uh, I'm joined by our first guest here, Mr. Lloyd Griffith. Lloyd Hello. is a comedian, an actor, a YouTube sensation, yeah. choir boy, yeah. goalkeeper. That'll do. Any others? No, no, plus size model. Plus size model. He's got it all and he's kind of allowed us to get into his home, a bit like in Hello Magazine, while he packs it up to move house. When you say us, it's, it's just you. Yeah, just me. It's yeah. just you. And the viewers. And the viewers, yeah. Right, so Lloyd, you're moving house. Why are you moving house, first of all? Um, I'm moving house um, because I am leaving my rented place and I'm, I'm getting my own place, which is not bad after, you know, 36 years of age um, in London. Um, don't know that sounds arrogant, but I mean, there's just expensive in it in yeah in london it is but you got to pack everything up to you do that how are you up. doing this move are you doing it yourself are you hiring a van or are you hiring a man with a van well i'm not entirely sure at the moment i'm going to play it by ear i think i might have a man or two men with a van that would help me um, but what i'm going to do in the meantime is try and pack up everything as soon as possible and it's so boring isn't it? my friend chris start um used to say when you're moving house you should have a little sit down find a little quiet corner have a little sit down to yourself where no one's going to disturb you and think, do I really want to move house or should I kill myself? Yeah, no, I've thought about that a lot. And it yeah. doesn't necessarily revolve around moving house. Right, okay. Um, but yeah, no, I, I need to. And also, because I'm going on tour in like a few days, I've only got two days where I can pack up the house. Yeah. So this is killing two birds with one stone. Okay. Love you it. filming this and me packing. So what we're going to do, what's your tactic here? So it's the books we're doing today. Yep. Uh, are you going to be sorting them as you go through or are you just no, going to pack everything in boxes? I, so I've got some big boys. I've got some big boys up here and I've got some big boys down below. And then the rest are just like normal size, kind of like um, book. So this is, for example, I'd say a normal size book. Yep. So I think I'll be packing the normal size books um, in a <clears throat> medium box from Safe Store. What's your policy with regards to books? I mean... Why do you have books on display? Do you put every book you read, does it go up here? Or yeah. do you put certain ones that you think will impress people? Well, it's basically uh, ones that when I bring uh, ladies back, I go, oh, just mind my, my, yeah. my, my, uh, my books. And so you've got your Louis Theroux's, you've got your North to tell them I'm a you know, good yeah. working class Northern lads. Um, some Charles Bukowski, you know, yeah. so I can I can read big words. Um, Hugh Johnson's pocket wine book, you know, so they yeah. know that I mean, obviously a part-time sommelier as well. The Cathedrals of England. The Cathedrals of England, the uh, three or four books, Cathedrals of England. Um, so yeah, so basically it's there to go, look, you know, I'm well read. Um, and also, do you know what? I've actually not read any of these books. <laughs> Tell me through what's going on here. Uh, this is a box. I'm just going to tape up the box. Um, I love one of those little, you know, the thing, the tape guns. Oh, yeah. It's five ninety nine in the shop when I saw it today. So you do well enough to buy a house, but not well enough to buy a five ninety nine tape gun. Well, I, th I, I, I thought, well, if I buy that, when am I going to use it again? And hopefully, I'm not going to move uh, out anytime soon. So what I'm doing here is um, just taping up. A box. The box, I think these are going to be the worst things to carry. Oh, you little sh... I actually thought that having you here would, would, would be able to help, but you're just manning the camera, aren't you? Yeah. So I'll just do this on my... Ooh, and then shall I? So there you go, that's, that's, the, that's the worst bit. The, um... Yeah. Are you just going to put one bit on or are you going to go across no, I'm now? Gonna, I'm going to go just... I'm going to put another one in. See this... Gun would have been great for this. Yeah. I thought Robbie's going to help. He'll be able to help. There you go, actually, I've done it. There you go, look at that. And then, bite that. I think that's enough. No, you see, what I do, I, I would um, I then put, like, at least one across, like that. Maybe, maybe two or three. Why? To, well, to provide security. To give a bit of grip. If that, that, could, that could come loose, I think, otherwise. Yeah, I think that's a great move. What's your favourite chore to do around the house? Um, 
can it be body related? Because what I like doing, and this sounds really weird, and you brought, I love clipping my toenails. Do you? Yeah. Why do you like it? I just find it quite satisfying. And it's something that I do genuinely look forward um, to doing on, on a weekly basis. What's your least favourite household chore to do, Lloyd? Uh, least perfect household um, is changing my bed sheets. Is it? I, I, I love a uh, I love I love a new the feeling of getting into a a bed when the bed sheets are, are, are new. Oh, it's the best feeling yeah. in the world. And it happened the other day because I forgot. I basically I um, I changed my bed sheets, then forgot that I changed my bed sheets. Got into bed having been on tour for a few days. Oh. And it was genuinely the best thing in the world. It's better than sometimes the stuff that you get into in the bed. Sometimes I do um, what I call like the dream bedtime, where I'll, have, I'll change the bed sheets, yeah. and I'll also go to have a shower just before I go to bed. Oh. So you're clean, the bed sheets are clean. It's just magnificent. <laughs> I, um, I, would, I would pay to not have a cleaner, but to just have someone that comes and changes my bed sheets every two days, maybe three days. What is it you don't like about doing it yourself? Just takes ages and that yeah. it just takes ages and you know i've never got into my bed and gone you know when you get to a hotel bed you go oh this is cozy as yeah this has been washed like a nice not like a premier inn or like a travel lodge i mean although i do say in premier quite a lot like a really nice like a hotel de va or yeah. something like that when you get into a maze oh i can only dream of that but if you get into one of them and it's just like it's fresh i've never got into a, a bed of mine and gone oh that is the best thing in the world. So I think I think um, if someone can just change my bed sheets every three days, I think. If you had, to, if you could employ one person to do a job, is that what you'd go for? Yeah. Like that, that to do. Yeah. Very specific role, change your bed sheets. They'd have their own set of keys. Yeah. They'd come in, and the best thing is, I'd forget about it. Yeah. Because they're doing it on a rolling, you know, a rolling contract. Maybe they shouldn't do it every two days. Maybe they should do it on a random basis between once every one to five days, and then. You won't know when that joy is coming along. I'd rather know. Would you? Yeah. People are quite big fans of bin day on this channel. What's your, yeah. what's your bin routine like here? Well, do you have a specific bin day, or do you take it? You're in a flat, you take it to a communal area. I live in a uh, in a in a block in a um, like four floors, so there's like twenty odd in each section. So there is a bin day. I'm not aware of it. Now, because it's like, that. there's actually a man that if you leave your bins out on one day, he'll take them down to the bins for you. Wow. But I've never known what that day is. So I just take my bins out anyway. And then there's bins around the back, a uh, little door code. I'm not gonna say what it is. It's a four digit door code. And essentially you, um, you just go and pop them into communal bins. There's recycling as well. So I've got like, I've got a number of uh, recycling situations. See, the problem with, Packing books is obviously they're not all in the same like size, so you then get a bit where now I've got I'm not sure if you can see in there, but essentially I've got I've not really packed it that well. I've got some negative space here, so I think I'm going to have to put some books down the middle of here. What are the mundane bits about being a comedian? Are there any dull bits of that? Um, it's 95% admin, I think. Can you see that? Peter yeah. K. Saturday night, Peter. Um, it's, it's 95% admin. Like, you spend a lot of your time on the road. You spend a lot of your time booking in gigs, sorting gigs out. Um, I actually think on stage, you're on stage for anything between 20 minutes and an, an hour and a half. So actually, you know, mo most jobs, you're there 95. So you're spending you know, anything from 30, 60, 50, 60 hours you know, a week in in the office, whereas comedy, the actual time on stage, is like minimal. So a lot of the time you are doing your tax returns, you're sorting out your receipts, uh, you're figuring out what the cheapest way to get to extra is on a Tuesday afternoon, um, with or without a network rail card. Um, you're then kind of like just figuring out, is it easier to stay in a hotel in Bogdan Regis or like drive back after that? You're trying to find the cheapest petrol in the area, um, petrolprices.co.uk. Um, not an ad, not an ad, could be. Um, it's quite a sad thing actually, I got this book, I uh, went on holiday with my um, girlfriends to um, California, so that was, um, that was, uh, that's good. Well, 
I mean, the holiday was great. She just then broke up with me six months later. How do you entertain yourself when you're on the road? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of. Um, I listen to I listen to a lot of um, radio. I like voices in the car, um, and also podcasts. Podcasts are quite good. Um, what do you do when you drive? I don't really have um, a car good enough to have um, like. Bluetooth or anything like that, so I just listen to Radio 4 normally. Radio 4's alright though, isn't it? Yeah. They've got comedy on there, haven't they? Yeah, or, or I'll listen to podcasts on my iPhone, just turn it up really loud, so it doesn't go through the speaker system. <laughs> Absolute povo. You do acting as well, Lloyd. What, what parts of acting are mundane? Learning the lines. I am so crap at learning lines. How do you do it? What's your tactic? I don't have one. I just keep reading, 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 and hope that I've learned it. And I spoke to a number of different people. I'm going to have to um, sit down now because I've got <laughs> cramp in my legs because I'm fat. Um, I, 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 I've spoken to various different actors and said, how do, you, how do you learn lines? And there's no rhyme or reason. Everyone's got a different thing. I just have to go over it and over it and over it and just hope that they're embroiled in, 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 in my mind. Um, but when, that, you, when you're on set, is it dull or is it all action field uh, so I did a couple of days on a American sitcom a few weeks back and you get picked up at 6.30 in the morning you're at the location for say 7.15 breakfast is usually at 8 and then I didn't shoot anything till 2 o'clock that afternoon <laughs> and I forgot my book and I forgot my headphones and so I was just in an absolute just there with your thoughts in a room I mean that is dangerous isn't it just listen to your own voices in your head for essentially six hours uh, and then when I went back the next time because it was a couple of I was doing a couple of days on it I was like right I'm taking my headphones taking my book I've, I was like I've got quite a bit of work to do today as well and then was just shooting the minute I got in there to all day but there is a lot of sitting around when you're doing acting a lot of sitting around what about do, when you do multiple takes or something does that get annoying or is it or are you just glad you're busy glad you're busy yeah and it's actually it's quite enjoyable because the more time you know again it's that thing of going acting you know Theoretically, you kind of, you know, I did a scene in a film, I can't mention what it is, but with like a, a very large Hollywood actor the other day. And we did the scene, it was, I'd say, a three minute scene. It, it took the whole day. It took the whole day to do it. Various different takes, different angles, different energy, different, you know, layers to it. It took the whole day. And it was weird to see this huge, huge Hollywood actor doing exactly the same thing and not getting bored with it and coming up with a different thing. So, it, it was a real eye-opener for me. I've only been acting for, you know, five years or so. Um, but it, yeah, it is, you do the same thing repetitively over and over again. And I think you just have to get used to it. You just know. Unless apparently EastEnders, yeah. they have like 100 cameras and they do a rehearsal, they film it and then that's it, done. I've got a friend who's on EastEnders, or used to be, and she said you only get like two takes or something. And that's it. Do it. So if you need another take, you'll deliberately mess it up do something bad like throw something off the table or something so you can, do so you can get another go because you know if you get to the end of that yeah. second take they're going to use it wow right Lloyd thanks for being the first ever guest on Mundane in the Brain uh, how have you enjoyed it? good I feel you know there's only so you can only be so entertaining when talking about clipping your toenails and changing your sheets I think you've underestimated my YouTube channel if you think that this is a, a low point in it this is Peak. This is up there. Absolutely up there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nice, nice of you to show us the intricate um, book packing uh, work that you've done there. If, if people have enjoyed you talking about your toenails and your book packing, what, what actions can they take in uh, order to see more of you? Well, I was going to say they should call the Samaritans if they've enjoyed me talking about um, my toenails and bed sheets. Um, I do have a YouTube channel as well, it's a weekly one. It's very niche though, isn't it? It's, but I just do Premier League fan reactions. Can you say how well edited those videos are? Yeah, and no, I do that myself. Um, do you, do every you? single week, yeah. Wow. <laughs> now Robbie does them every single week. Um, I send them from my really poor Wi-Fi, don't I? Mm. Moan about it every week. Um, if you want to see me live, I'm uh, on tour in February, March and April in 2020. Travelling up and down the country. Which day? You, you came last time, didn't you? To Soho. I came to Soho Theatre, yeah. It was very good indeed. Yeah, did different show this time, though. Different show, yeah. But did yeah. you laugh? I did laugh, yeah. A lot, didn't you? Yeah, quite a bit, I yeah. could hear your laugh at the back. <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, if you fancy coming and see me, come and see me. Do you know what? I'll put the tour dates. If I can be asked, I'll put them across, <laughs> across here. If I'm just pointing at air, I just I couldn't be bothered. 
If not, I mean, just Google it. Depends what you've got on this week, isn't it? Depends really? how busy I am. I'm going to put this up tomorrow, you see, so if, if I've got time in the morning. <laughs> I've got an air, fry, an air fryer review to finish, so. And I, this sounds ridiculous. I'm just kind of, I, yeah. I'd like to, in the comments below, like to find out what people's most mundane things that they, and also what they enjoy doing. Because I could literally, toenail clippings, I'm still getting, is that all right? It's fine, mate. Yeah. We don't, we don't, we're non-judgmental on this channel. Thanks for watching. Do the like and subscribe thing if you want. It doesn't really affect me massively. Follow Lloyd and that, let me know if you like this because then if, yeah, we'll do more interview things with people. Oh.